In this video tutorial, we'll look at how to install SSL on WordPress uh, if you have Bluehost as your website host. And you'll see the reason why is because of this Google service announcement where they're going to be showing a not secure warning on Google Chrome browsers in October of 2017. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get this fixed. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, log in to your Bluehost control panel, which should look something like what I'm showing here on the screen. And one check you'll want to make before you do this is scroll down. I believe it should say something about privacy down here under the upgrade section. Just go ahead and check that your domain privacy, um, that you don't have anything there that's protected. Um, you probably you would have only paid for this if you upgrade, upgraded um, to it, but you can see this particular example um, doesn't have the domain name protection. It's You can see that you still have to add it. And the reason you're gonna wanna turn this off for at least a few hours is so that you can receive the SSL uh, email communication that's required in order to um, you know approve this and actually get the SSL installed so yeah go ahead and if you do have that turned on turn it off for a few hours and turn it back on after you get the SSL certificate installed and next let's then go up to WordPress tools And for some reason, I'm not able to click on WordPress tools. Oh, there it goes. It's taking a little bit longer than usual. So I'll wait for this page to load. And once this page loads, we're going to go ahead and click on security over here on the left hand side. And then you can see you. It says here security protection for your WordPress website. So what you'll want to do here is turn on the free SSL certificate by clicking this button right here. So we'll go ahead and switch this on. And you can see here that you'll get a notification that says, you know, we're setting up the SSL. It may take a few hours and uh, some situations we might need to take actions. If so, you'll receive an email with instructions. So what might happen is they'll probably send you an email with the email you have on file and you'll actually have to click on a link in that email to validate that you actually requested this. So just keep an eye out over the next few hours to make sure that uh, you don't receive any email communication and if you do go ahead and just read the instructions in that email and take action upon it hey guys all right I'm back I've been waiting for probably about two hours for this pending thing to just keep spinning and spinning here um, but what I did is I went and decided to check sslshopper.com and see if the security certificate was already installed and if I go ahead and check the SSL certificate, you'll see that um, it is indeed installed on the website. So I was kind of waiting for nothing. I, I, there wasn't really a good notification here on the screen from Bluehost to let me know, hey, it's, it's been installed already. I didn't receive any email communication that needed action from Bluehost. I just received an email that let me know that they processed the free order for the SSL. So um, now when I go to the website, I, I should be able to see in Google Chrome that this website is secure. But you'll notice that you know when I load the website, I'm not really getting that green secure icon there because we haven't changed the URLs in WordPress yet 
to force the redirect to HTTPS. So we'll take a look at how to fix that here next. So let's go ahead and log in to the WordPress admin area. All right, my browser's operating a little slow here. And go to the login. I'll wait for this to pull up. All right, oh, I've got my username and password in there. And the next thing we'll want to do is go to uh, settings and then click on general. And we'll wait for this page to load. And well, it looks like Bluehost already put in the HTTPS here. So they must have forced that change automatically when they installed the security certificate, which which is great. Um, so a lot of times on other web hosts, you know, this uh, will have to be replaced manually, uh, where it would just say the HTTP and then you'd have to add in the S and you know save your changes but since Bluehost did that for you already you know you're good to go there however you should be seeing the secure icon on you know the home page if I go back into um, their home page here Let's see if I can get back there So it looks like when I clicked on the visit site from the admin area, it went to the secure website. Let's just see if we can type um, in HTTP without the S and see if it somehow goes somewhere. Because it really shouldn't. It should force uh, over to the HTTPS. And you can see that it doesn't. So something's not right here, which maybe means that there's some sort of a caching plugin in the back end. So let's go into the back end and take a look at this. All right, so we've got under our settings, and a lot of times there's just different caching plugins that clients have set up. So you kind of have to do a little bit of digging to see what you can find. So what do we have here? Do, 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 do. And actually, it's under, I can see there's a performance tab here, and it looks like there's some browser cache set up. Let's just go to the dashboard of this. Okay, so on the dashboard, yeah, it looks like there's a place where we can empty all caches. So let's just go ahead and empty all of those caches and clear out any of those old URLs, and then let's go ahead and try to visit the website again without um, the HTTPS and see if it forces us over to HTTPS boom alright there we go that was the issue um, when I typed it in now without the HTTPS and try to force it you know to go back to the old way of the non-secure URL if I hit the return there to reload that page you can see that it's no longer loading the the non-secure page it's actually forcing over to HTTPS so if you run into that problem you probably have a caching plugin of some sort installed check under settings maybe you have a performance button as well where you can go in and empty all the cache so that your um, SSL is forcing properly over to the HTTPS. All right, so your final step in making your site change official with Google is to add your new HTTPS URL to your Google Webmaster Tools account or what's called Search Council. If you don't have a Search Council account, you know, you can go to google.com slash webmasters and sign up for one there. 
Now, when you're here, just go ahead and click on add a property. And you're going to go ahead and paste in your URL. Now, notice that I just pasted in the HTTP. I need to add the S in there because that is considered a new site to Google uh, according to their uh, documentation. So that's why we're adding this. Even if we had one already that was HTTP without the S, we're going to add a new one with the S in it. We'll click Add. And wait for Google to do its thing. And then you're going to actually have to verify that you own this domain name. Even if you've done the one without the HTTPS before, you're going to have to use these different verification methods. So let's just look at what we got here. We could upload this HTML file to the server. I mean, that would be pretty fast um, where you just download this file and then upload it via FTP or even your control panel file manager if you have one of those and then you could come in here and click verify but let's just let them know we're not a robot first so I can actually verify the other thing you can do is if there are there are some alternate methods of verification and the one that I always like to use is the Google Analytics one so I, this should work because the same email that I'm logged in with here in Google Webmaster Tools is also an administrator on the Google Analytics that's installed on this domain name. So if you're lucky enough to have Google Analytics installed and you have those synced up, you know, you should be able to click verify here and not have to do the uploading of that HTML file. All right. So apparently I don't have that luxury so I'm gonna have to go ahead and upload the uh, the file so let's go ahead and do that right now we'll go back to the recommended method and let's go ahead and download this file so now that you have the file downloaded you can go ahead and upload it via FTP to your main directory um, I'm not connected to FTP right now for this particular website. However, I am logged in uh, via Bluehost to this particular website. So I might just go about it the fast way here where you can go down to the file manager and let's go into the web route here and let's switch this to the right domain and let's go ahead and submit. It should bring up the file manager for the main directory where all of our website files are located. So we're just waiting for Bluehost to do its thing. And cool, looks like we're exactly where we need to be. Let's go ahead and click upload. Choose a file. Right, I gotta go to the right directory where I downloaded this. And let's go ahead and grab this file. You can see here it's this google.html file with a bunch of funny numbers in it. Yours is gonna look different. And then it says down in the right hand corner here the system is starting the upload and it says that it's complete. All right. So let's go ahead and X out of this. And then let's go back to the search console. And let's go ahead and try the verification here. So we'll get the robot to, and then let's click verify. All right, congratulations, you've successfully verified your ownership. So we just uploaded that HTML file to the server. Google was able to go out and verify that we actually own this domain name, and we're good to go.